so this is the view from our hotel room as you can see it's so pretty but it's so cold outside like that one is like the snow and you can see the river that it's it's actually kind of like smoking right now like look omg <laughs> We are here in Chicago Art Institute and we have our special, <laughs> <laughs> we have our special guest Darren all the way from, from Minnesota. Minnesota. <laughs> so um, we've seen a lot so far and yeah, we inter we try to interpret um, paintings. the paintings that we saw, and then it has a very deep meaning, yeah, especially the contemporary um, paintings. Yeah, yeah. It's super cold. Nakikilid It's super cold outside, and right now we're we're trying to find um, a store where we can buy a face cover at least because the cold. By the way, just in case you don't do <laughs> and that's Darren. Yeah. This is Doc. This is Doc. And Lloyd got a little taller. And I'm Darren. <laughs> and I'm Lloyd. I'm Lloyd. We just um, got in yeah. Art Institute. so anxious about it. Yeah. Identification. <laughs> I feel like I'm always guilty, even though I'm not. I'm so worried. <laughs> We're in the Roman and Greek art part of the museum. I don't know why like, a mm -hmm. lot of bus, like the portrait bus, mm -hmm. doesn't have those. I do. Moses are missing. Yeah. So according to this, not only for Greek and Romans, like portrait busts, mm -hmm. it's also like in many Egyptian statues mm -hmm. because they said like um, several archaeologists suggested that erosion could be one of the main reasons that this is happening mm -hmm. to main, many ancient statues like harsh winds or shifting muds and sand it's probably because it's the, the most pointed part and like yeah and the wind. so sometimes it's better if you're pango no <laughs> What do you so, think is that thing? Yeah, this is this one is called the hard switch, and this one is the soft switch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, people with this are too sensitive; they don't want to use the hard switch oh, now. So very deep, very was, deep. Hi yeah, guys, this is Sarah from Minnesota. Oh. As you can, um, we are in Art Institute right now. So here is the heart of Spongebob. OMG! So you mean to say this is the aorta, the left ventricle and the right ventricle of the heart of Spongebob? Yes, it is. Oh, and as you can see, it looks like a sponge, it's sponge. which it is. Yes. <laughs> because it's not in the sea, it's dried up. Um, makes sense. Makes sense. Very, very useful information. I, I, I learned, Guys, I learned a lot today. I think I'm a brand Did you get that? Did, Did you get that? I think I'm a brand new person now. Also, I was the learners that yeah. I had today. Me, me too, me too. Wait, pakita mo naman yung ulo ko. This is an example of a minimalist art. As you can see, when you focus on it, can you focus please? 
what can you see? Only like wavy lines, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty for baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in fact, this is a very, very important um, entry. Yes. In, yes. In art minimalism. I agree. Because this, when you it it, it it's only missing the title of the eye, but this one. It reads minimum, minimum, minimum. Oh. I actually have a classmate back then, mm -hmm. and he has another classmate who wrote minimum exactly like this. Uh. Chicago hasn't always been like this. I uh -huh. We they have like um we have gone through a lot of urbanizational plan, mm -hmm. and this is one of them. Mm -hmm. But this is the final design. Oh. This is the view looking west over the city of <laughs> Chicago. Okay? Yeah. We didn't think that they were going to be able to do it. They were going to be able to do it. the art institute and we um, just made a quick quick stop at Walgreens to buy Zycam. I'm not sick. Good thing about Zycam, Zycam if you're there you can score the rest for us. <laughs> is it prevents uh, before it the cold start. Yeah. Even start, it's a free you know? cold medicine. In the way this is not I'm the <laughs> what I, I was saying I'm gonna show you how cold it is right now. Degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see how it is um, in Celsius. Celsius is negative 14. OMG. You know, we're from LA, so we're not used to this kind of weather. We're well, from we're not, Philippines. Yeah, we're not really LA. from LA. I mean to say, we came from LA. So, I mean, you know, two, um, yeah. two places that are not um, used to cold. Yeah, in Philippines, it's super humid and hot and we're, we're used to that kind of weather and then in LA it's not very cold yeah. so it's fine but here negative mm. 14 really that's, oh that's the beach can you see no gate this is the beach oh, God. so cold <laughs> After the cloud gate. Giordano. Right. Um, a lot of people recommended um, Giordano's when you go to Chicago. Especially our friend Glenn, he recommended this. And Nick's boss, Nick's boss, Paul. It's been so long since I saw my neck. Classic. Oh, in the dress. <laughs> uh, so how many steps did you have today? Oh, um, we'd be thank you. Um, you can sponsor us. <laughs> but I feel like my um apple bike better. Offset smart lead. The calorie is burned. So you have twenty three thousand steps today. Over here, you guys have your pre order already yet? No? Okay, a couple um, things with this deep dish pizza it takes 45 hours, 45 minutes to one hour. So, we want to put it in right away. What would we like? What can you recommend? Uh, most popular is just the pepperoni pizza. Let's um, get the Chicago classic. Yeah. 
here's the thing guys really at first um, we wanted to go to Alaska yeah, all right. and we were planning it you know our like, first plan was Alaska I think it was mid-June actually we, you were talking about it um, last year yeah but then Andrea said that it's not a very good time to go there during winter time because daylight is only approximately four hours like you can do anything at all you can't do anything at all so we reconsidered and we chose Chicago <laughs> right now we're gonna interview Jared so Alaska and Chicago are the same have the same um, temperature oh. Alaska Chicago yeah but okay Darren Darren is from Minnesota he came down to here just to meet us but in Minnesota it's super cold like it's negative 26 degrees oh. it's negative well, I haven't experienced the negative temperatures yet in Apple Valley or in Minnesota, so... But they say that it's really warmer here than compared to... So it's warmer here. Yeah, I don't know. I have this jacket and inside I have um, two warmers and then on my legs um, just one warmer the jeans um, two I underestimated it yeah because my so I have Kami inside and then one warmer one parka and this jacket so that's like four and then I have two underneath my jeans plus my jeans so that's like three and then I have two socks I have my bonnet and I have this um, neck slash face cover and I'm still cold 